You know, it was an absolutely beautiful day for a parade, and you know how Cincinnati loves their parades, absolutely. especially when they're baseball-related, right? They are, and the All-Star players were parading through downtown today. Joe Webb was there and caught all the action. Well, Rob, Rob it was another fun All-Star game event that was still feeding off the excitement from last night's home run derby. Baseball fans of all stripes and all ages packed the parade route to see the players we're going to take the field in just a couple of hours. The dreaded rain didn't fiddle with today's All-Stars parade as the Cincinnati Sun beat down on a big crowd. Hours before the first ball player rolled out on the red carpet, hundreds packed the parade route, each with their own expectations. A good show. I'm hoping to see our boy Todd Frazier. Rosie Red, Mr. Red, and several other big league mascots entertained the crowd before Grand Marshal Barry Larkin and his wife Lisa led the parade to Great American Ballpark. The All-Stars smiled and waved, some threw souvenirs to fans. Many shared the back of the pickups with friends and family. It's easy for Reds fans to hate Clayton Kershaw, the Dodgers pitcher, a little harder to hate Clayton Kershaw, the dad. It was a family event on the red carpet and the sidewalk. Carrie Starts and Jamie Janowicki are sisters. This could be our only time we get to do this as far as with all the players and the experience. We love Cincinnati, so it's a good place to be on a day like today. I love the liveliness. The city has really come alive and all the people, so I've loved it. And it really came alive when the man of the hour rolled out. No player got half the ovation saved for Todd Frazier. A lot of local love on the street today and not just for Frazier. He's a face the pride being felt by a lot of Cincinnatians today. I'm just here to be a part of my city and, you know, be involved and just be a part of this because, I mean, I'm so close to it and um, it's just an honor to be here and have the All-Star Game come to my city. And Rob, a lot of people realizing this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for them to, to have an All-Star Game this close and right here in their hometown. By the way, the guy playing the violin at the beginning of that story was Preston Charles of Silverton, and he was killing it. It was a great event, Rob. Great, great event downtown. Good crowd. Good time had by everybody. It really was, and I appreciate the fact that we're getting an opportunity, Joe, to see these players up close. We see their families. This is an opportunity you don't often get with Major League Baseball players. Yeah, and they're real guys, and they're real young guys. I yeah. mean, these, these are <laughs> these are these are really young kids who can just pound a baseball and throw it 100 miles an hour. It's kind of it's yeah, and it's it's fun. It's just there's no other way to describe it. It's just a whole lot of fun, whether you're a baseball fan or not. But if you are a baseball fan, it just doesn't get any better. That's the truth. Increasingly younger, by the way, Joe, don't you think? Yes, yes indeed. <laughs> Make me feel old. <laughs> Joe Webb, thanks very much. Well, by now, you know 